Hey guys, what's up? I'm um, here showing you guys how to do a really cool tweak, or it's it's kind of a tweak, kind of a cool like um, kind of a way around some problems with the i devices. So um, this is kind of for people that have the new iPhone 5 or just want to stream their audio wire wirelessly to any speaker system they have without having to buy a um, a adapter. But for this, you you will have to be um, already owning certain things. You have to have a course an iDevice that has um, AirPlay support so um, it's like older newer iPhones I think iPhone 3GS and up and iPod Touch um, the second generation supports it a little bit I'm not sure about Air, um, AirPlay though I think it has to be Bluetooth so just um, make sure you have the right devices go online search it up but you have to have a device that you're willing to jailbreak so um, if you have say an old iPod Touch like I do I have an old iPod Touch that um, I ditched after I got my iPhone so this has just been laying around my bedroom not being used but now I can turn it into an AirPlay speaker system using a tweak as you can see right here called um, it's called Air Server and it says right here ready to um, ready to AirPlay and what this pretty much does is after I jailbreak my iPod so go jailbreak an old iDevice you have or if you have a newer one that you just stopped using if you're willing to jailbreak it and if it's jailbreakable you can um, jailbreak it. I think it has to be um, iOS 3 and up. Anywhere lower than that, you can't put the server on there. So you have to have an iDevice 3, um, iOS 3 and up. So make sure you have that. But once you get the tweak, it's pretty simple. You just go into Cydia and you type in Air Server and it's available. It's for a small charge, but um, if you guys want to, I'm not saying you do this, but you guys can find repos online that lets you get it for free. It's um two bucks, but it lets you get the repo for free, and um you can get Air Server. And once you have Air Server on there, you'll get an icon right here on your iPod Touch, and it says I'm um, it says Air Server. So you just click on that, and it says ready to play audio. Now I want to show you guys real quick what it's like to play audio on my iPhone. So I'm gonna play a song um, by Skrillex. So here we go. So that's my iPhone speaker, right? So now that I have this thing's an um, iCloud an i AirPrint server, I can now um, plug it into any speaker system. So I have these speakers behind me, um, behind me, in front of me, and behind me. Actually, I have an iHome right there. But any speaker system, you have to have a cord. You put the cord in here, and now I simply um, on the device I'm trying to AirPlay. I click on the little AirPlay icon. It'll automatically pick up on my Wi-Fi. Your both devices have to be on your Wi-Fi. This one and this one are on my same Wi-Fi network. So I'm on the same Wi-Fi network. I simply go right here and I say um serve full room. Mine's a uh, full room airplay. That's why I named it. So now I can click play. There's a tiny bit delay because it has to connect to it, but <laughs> And that's my speakers behind you guys right now. You guys can't see them. I'll show you for a second. As you can see right here, the song that I'm streaming on my I'm streaming this on my iPhone, and my iPod actually tells me what I'm playing right now. So that's cool. I'll show you guys real quick what speakers I'm using. As you can see, my cable is right um, there, going into my iHome right there, and st streaming my audio. So you have to have also speakers with the audio in jack. So most speakers do, of course, because you want your computer or something. But you have to be able to plug your iPhone or your iPod into there somehow. Um, sometimes this thing's kind of doesn't always work, but sometimes you can actually um, put uh, your iPhone. If you have a dock you're using, you can put your iPod Touch in the dock and use the server through the dock connector. So you can stream your audio to the iPod Touch, and it goes to the speaker system through the dock connector. It doesn't always work all the time, but um. Using air server is going to kind of drain your battery on this device, so you might want to make sure you're in your outlet or something, or have like an audio cable, not audio cable, um, power cable. Make sure this thing's plugged in. You can turn your brightness down on this thing because you have to keep this thing, um, you have to keep the screen on. You can't like, you can't lock it, sadly. But um, if you turn your brightness down, make sure it's plugged in, and um, turn auto lock off. Don't have it auto lock because if it auto locks, like say you have it set to five minutes, it'll lock and your music will stop. So keep the screen on, 
turn the brightness down and you'll be fine. Um, it doesn't take that much power, just make sure you monitor the battery and um, yeah, you easily plug it, like say you have TV speakers you want to stream, just plug this into the front of your um, dish box or something in the USB port and you'll be fine. So um, right here, see this is a battery warning. My I just plugged my iPhone into power or my iPod into power recently and I only got up to 10% before doing this video. So I'm going to take the cord and just put it in here. So there we go. Simple, just keep it plugged in. And if you want to try the dock connector, you can easily plug it into. I plug it into that iHome sometimes. Again, sometimes it works, not always. Um, when I click play to when I click play to go into iPod play mode, it accidentally starts playing the songs on my iPod Touch. So, and again, doesn't always work, but this works per perfectly fine. You can easily have a small cable too. This one's just long, but you can have a smaller one because all you need to have is this thing resting on top of your speakers. So, again, you can play some more music. Again, we could play some more music right here. Again, tiny bit delay. But you'll notice that the song does not start until the speaker is ready. And yet again. And um, I just put this down. So I think it's um it's a great it's a great way to quickly have your uh, music wirelessly. It's a great um alternative. So this works with iPhone fives too. You don't have to do anything to the device you're trying to airplay, okay? The only thing you're jailbreaking is this one. You're only jailbreaking your source or your uh, source not your receiver. So you have to jailbreak only one device. And then after you jailbreak this device, any iPhone or iPod touch that has airplay support can easily connect to it. So this one is an iPhone 4S, not jailbroken at all. It's just it's just airplane like normal, but this thing's the jailbroken one. So it's a great it's a great um, alternative. I know a lot of people have their old iPod touches just sitting in a drawer somewhere because they don't need to use it anymore. But you can easily have one iPod touch in your kitchen, one iPod touch up in your bedroom, and easily be able to choose between which one you want to stream from or stream to. So it's a great alternative. So. It's pretty nice too. If you have good Wi-Fi, it's gonna be really responsive. I mean, I watched a um, video on here, and it's pretty good too. Works with almost any apps. I was playing a game; it streams perfectly to the to the audio. And if you have, like, say, an iPad, you want to jailbreak. If you jailbreak your iPad, um, or any device, even right here, I can easily play a video, and the video will actually be streamed to this device. So I'm not sure if it's gonna do it for you guys, but we can try. And right here it says actually, it says it's airplane on my iPod Touch. So, let's watch. Now this is cool if like you have like, um, again, like if you have an iPad but you don't want to always have your all your movies on there but you have an iPhone, I can stream my movies from my iPhone to my iPad or any device. So, it's not just the iPod Touch. So again, see, it's kind of, it doesn't always work. I think I might accidentally click something. Okay, don't want to do that. But again, let's see if it works. Might work. Might work. Yeah. So if it, if that doesn't work, you can you can click. Um, if that doesn't work, you can click just speakers, and instead it'll just. You'll, you'll play your video on the iPhone and play audio on here. So, 
See, it says playing Avengers. And I can watch my I can watch my movie right here, and just the audio streaming behind me in my speaker system, no cords. If you guys can if you guys can hear that right now, stream straight to my speakers. And here's the movie. The Tesseract has awakened. You pause. Play. A human world. So. Hope you guys enjoy my video. As you can see, streaming's pretty cool. So, um, again, the video part, the video to the server doesn't always work, but if you have an iPad or old, a newer device, this one's probably just old, so it can't do that. But, um, if you have a um, new device, like an iPad you want to jailbreak to use as a server, I don't, I think you should just use an old iPod Touch, but, um, you can easily stream it to your iPad and it works perfectly fine. So, um, yeah. One recommend, one recommendation, don't jailbreak your iPhone because there's been problems with jailbreaking iPhones lately. That's why I haven't jailbroken mine. So, um, yeah, it's a great, great alternative. And it's pretty much free if you already have one of these. So, if you don't have one of these, go out and you can probably get one off eBay for like 20 bucks now because these things are really cheap now. But, um, again, you might as well just buy a Bluetooth adapter. But great alternative for people that already own it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, um, like, subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.